All right, at the Robinson Helicopter booth with my new buddy Chris. He's a design engineer at RHC and also a pilot. And we thought this would be really fun to do a little bit of walk around, check out the R66, check out the 44, and see some of the cool things that Robbins is doing. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So Chris, obviously over the last few years, Robinson's really upgraded their cockpit. Uh, obviously with you on the engineer side, just walk us through a little bit of what we're now seeing in the R66 cockpit. Sure. Yeah, so this is a, one of our fully optioned R66s. Um, most of them come down the line like this. A lot of people like to check the boxes. So this one has the uh, Garmin G500 panel. So it's got the 1060 on the top, the 750 navigator on the bottom. This one has air conditioning as well. Uh, this does have the autopilot, the Helisass, Genesis Helisass autopilot in it. Pilot side um, accessory bar. It has the 4K cockpit camera and also has the accessory handle for passengers on the, the, the co pilot seat. One of my favorite, very simple, but favorite parts of the, the 44 and the 66 cockpit is the accessory bar. Yes. What are you guys doing at Robinson to safely mount, say, iPads like you currently have mounted there? Yeah, so this is this is a RAM mount. So we have um, RAM mounts available. It also has a, a uh, cable control um, clip on the back of it, so you can route your cable safely, Very keep it cool. out of the pedals, keep it out of the controls. Uh, we have accessory power on the pilot side uh, accessory bar. You can plug in your USB. We have both Type A and Type C. Um, then a little kind of map chart pocket where you can tuck the rest of your cords over, uh, get the slack out of the way. Yeah, it's it's truly amazing to see what Robinson's doing with the cockpit. I love all the new technology, all the new avionics, the autopilot. One of my favorite features, of course. What, what is the what is the bar right there, though? I've not seen that on the on the passenger side. Yeah, so the bar is meant to you know, for tour operators or somebody who might have passengers that are not usually in helicopters or something. Um, it's extra safety gives them something to hold on to if they want to. Um, the the T-bar cyclic is right there, so just want to give them something else to, to hold on to, but also. It's easy to have your knee hit the cyclic uh, totally. if you have a passenger that's not paying attention and they're moving around. And so it's just an extra little bit of safety to, to keep the you know, legs and hands, uh, give them some place to put them. 100%. Well, let's keep uh, chatting about the rest of the helicopter. Sure. Coming back here, I see that this aircraft has the auxiliary yes. uh, fuel tank. So this is, uh, we have two sizes. This is the smaller size, the 23 gallon auxiliary tank. Uh, we also have a 43 gallon auxiliary tank. So the main tank in this is 73.6 gallons usable. And so we give you an extra, probably about two hours. So this is about an extra hour, maybe hour and a half of endurance with the 40 gallon tank. It's an extra two hours of endurance. Uh, it's a transfer pump. So it's not actually usable fuel until it's in the main tank. Okay. So there's a system um, on the cockpit or the on the instrument panel, you flip the transfer switch. It will pump the fuel from the auxiliary tank into the main tank and it gives you that extra little bit of endurance. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great upgrade. I got a lot of clients that are really fascinated yeah. wanting to, to do that. Yeah. Now as we transition back, just tell us a little bit about the Rolls engine. So inside the, the standard uh, Rolls-Royce R300 engine, so 300 shaft horsepower derated to uh, 270 horsepower for takeoff and 224 horsepower continuous. Burn rate's about 20 gallons an hour, but great engine. Yeah, fantastic. You know, in my flying experience with the 66, I'm always really impressed with the power. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's a bit of a rocket ship. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's actually lighter uh, airframe than the R44. It is, yeah. So empty weight on these is, depending on how it's optioned, um, usually uh, can be as low as 1,280 pounds-ish. Um, usually they're close to 1,350, depending on the options that are in there. Uh, the R44 empty weighs somewhere around 14, 1500 pounds, depending on option. Yeah, it's incredible. So, yeah. So one of the big things, obviously, is this new uh, design. I had a conversation with David yes. uh, a few months back on the helicopter podcast, talking about the new horizontal stabilizer. Yes. Just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Tell us uh, kind of also the field installation, if, if you can speak on that a little bit. Sure. Yeah, so this is uh, the new horizontal stabilizer. So it's symmetric instead of asymmetric. It used to stick off the, what is the pilot side of the aircraft. Now we just have you know kind of a little block off um, that doesn't have the stabilizer on it. Um, so here at Robinson, we are continuously looking to um, improve on safety, um, improve the aircraft for you know in any aspect. So what this does is if you find yourself outside of the limitations, the design intent of the aircraft, um, it will give you a little bit of extra margin um, in the in a low G uh, situation. Yeah, it's really cool actually that Robinson, uh, with the newer technology and simulation that's been available, we're able to kind of go back to the drawing board, so to speak, and really get a sense of uh, how the aerodynamics, specifically when it goes to low G, uh, are actually what's happening with the aircraft. They use that uh, that updated simulation 
uh, to figure out that this was actually uh, a better way to do it. So yeah. really cool that Robinson's doing that. This is available as a as a new option, and there's also a very inexpensive uh, field install for it. And yes. uh, what I'm told, it's pretty easy to do, so that's really cool. As we come around uh, to the helicopter, anything else about the R66 that Robinson is really proud, really excited about, customers should know. Um, so really proud of the entire airframe, something that uh, we put a lot of work and design effort into, obviously. And being an engineer, I take a special pride in it. Um, we have, like I guess, always are working on uh, safety improvements, upgrades to the avionics, the audio panels, um, safety improvements like the horizontal stabilizer, little creature comforts, um, like on the rear left skid, uh, the strut. Uh, we had the little step that helps you get up that first step when you're going to do your, your rotor checks at the beginning of the day. That's nice. Uh, we also have the ingress egress step that's on the skids. Um, it's a, kind of a nice creature comfort for some people that may be shorter, you know, uh, limited mobility to help them get it out of the aircraft. Shorter, he's, he's talking about me. <laughs> hey, Chris, thank you so much for doing this walk around on the R66. Yeah, you're welcome. I absolutely love the R66. In fact, I'm going to the safety course next week. Oh, great. Really excited to go and check it out, fly it again. It's been a bit. Yeah. Uh, I've kind of transitioned away from flying, so it's fun to get back into the cockpit. Really excited yeah. to go through the school. Really appreciate you talking. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, That's awesome. Great. Pleasure. Thanks, Thank Chris. You so much. Appreciate it. Yeah.